রাংসাকি টাকক সঙ্গ বুক সঙ্গ নরক নাই দো টাবুক টিএমবি নিউজ এন্ড এন্টারটেনমেন্ট চ্যানেল গুড আফটারনুন এভরিবডি টুডে is organizing this Tripura Tipra Bushu Tech 2024. And first of all, I am very much grateful to have been invited to be the part of this auspicious occasion. And I'd like to thank the organizers on behalf of myself and also on behalf of Tripura Tribal Area Chautamamak Vishy Council Administration. So in this occasion, the president of the function, that is coordinator of Center for Rural and Tribal Development, Professor Dr. Devdal Tripura, and other distinguished guests, Sri Sanjay Malik, Principal KV NIT Agartala, Sri John Debarma, Professor Mechanical Engineering Department, NIT Agartala, and other esteemed faculty members, ladies and gentlemen, students, friends. Today, in advance, I should say this is in advance, we are celebrating Bushu Tea. As it was spelled out that Bushu is celebrated in the month of April on the last day of Chaitra. So still Chaitra, last day of Chaitra is to come. And in advance, we are celebrating Bushu Tea. So, on this occasion, I would like to wish you all the happy Bushu Tea 2024 in advance on behalf of myself and also on behalf of Tripura Tribal Area Sotramadistu Council. The very importance, the very significance of Bushu Tea has already been spelled out by Professor Dr. Dabdulal Tripura in great detail. So, it does not need much explanation regarding the its significance. But when you say Bushu, Bushu indicates, Bushu indicates that we have passed one year very successfully and we are going to welcome the new, new year. Bushu, the very word Bushu, it comes from BC. So, the old year has gone and the new year is coming. So, the very word Bushu reminds us that new year is coming and we greatly welcome the new year with great joy and happiness. While I was going through the schedule of programs. I was told that this Bushu Ter is being celebrated by the Center for Rural and Tribal Development. Uh, tribal Development. It was striking my mind that the very objective of the Center for Rural and Tribal Development I think it was born, it was the necessity of the time to create this kind of center for rural and tribal development. Realizing the fact that there are, there is need to create this kind of center. Though this NIT, NIT Agarpala is also in the rural area, it also, I believe, belongs in falls in Tripura Tribal Autonomous District Council areas. 
on the basis of our personal experience we can see the disparity between the rural areas and uh, urban areas and there is there is lot of disparity socially economically infrastructurally so there is infrastructure disparity between the rural and urban areas infrastructure disparity between urban and rural areas and i believe that for the definite cause this center for rural and tribal development has been created and the esteemed members or the <laughs> or the students of this center for rural and tribal development will definitely work for elimination of disparities between between rural and urban areas and also they will contribute positively in the process of development in tribal areas so i think if they can contribute positively the very purpose of creation or constitution of this center for rural and tribal development will be uh, successful when you say rural areas in tripura for your kind from time for the kind information of the house 74% of the population in tripura live in rural areas this is the statistic of tripura state government that 74% of the total population of the state live in rural areas and about 80% of the total geographical area is in in rural areas so when we say rural areas majority of the rural areas is in scheduled areas in six scheduled areas that is tripura tribal areas of the madhya county and the the the, the in, in tripura i would like to share with the house by saying that in tripura the development has taken place it has been taking place development is happening but still there is a need to give emphasis on the development in rural areas especially in tripura tribal areas of rama district council areas and when we say when we talk about the tribal development when we say about the tribal development development of tribes of tripura there are there are 19 scheduled tribes notified to the government of india and there are 29 sub tribes so tribes scheduled tribes and sub tribes it it comes 48 so my dear student they should know what are the scheduled tribes and what are the sub tribes as per the notification of the government of india in tripura there are 19 scheduled tribes these are one is tripuri ablik tripura and tipera this is number 1 number 2 is jamatia number 3 riyang number 4 mok number 5 lusai number 6 lepcha number 7 urang number 8 santal number 9 ucha number 10 garu number 11 chakma number 12 chaimal number 13 is bhutia number 14 bhil number 15 khasia number 16 munda or number 17 nuatia nuatia has got one sub tribe that's called murasi number 18 is halam scheduled tribe and it has got 
it has got 10 subtribes. Halam has got 10 subtribes like Bangshel, Dab, Taipei, Koloi, Korbong, Langui, Musum, Rupini, Sukuchak, and Thangchak. And number 19 is Koki. Number 19 Sidul tribe in Tripura is Koki. And Koki Sidul tribe has got 18 sub -tribe. That is Velte, Belalhap, Shalya, Darlon, Phan, Hadam, Zao, Zongpepe, Karen, Khepen, Kumpe, Laifang, Lente, Nijel, Namte, Paitu, Paite, Rangpol, Rangchan, Thangluya. These are the 18 sub-tribes of Kuki. So there are 19 civil tribes of Tripura and 29 sub-tribes. So total there are 48 tribes as for the gathered notification of government of India and state government of Tripura. As because this NIT Agartala, this Center for Rural and Tribal Development has been dealing with the issues, dealing with the development of rural areas and tribal development. So I have just read out the names of scheduled tribes and subtribes for the information of the members. And in Tripura, uh, the ST population is as on date, as per the 2011 census, 31.76%. Now, in Tripura, Though population census was supposed to be in 2021, it has been deferred. But it is being estimated, it has been estimated that Tripura population in 2023 is 41,65,000. And thereby, the ST population may be around <coughs> uh, 13, 14 lakh by 2020. Three. So, as because this Center for Rural Development and Tribal Development is dealing with the development of rural areas and tribal development, these are the uh, few facts for the kind information of the uh, members of the Center. With the dear students, I would like to <coughs> share my feeling after coming here. The students have been very actively participating, they have been organizing uh, this auspicious occasion and I am very much thankful to all the organizers to have invited me to be part of this occasion. And I would like to appeal to the youngsters by saying that yes, now you have got chance to be the member of this esteemed <coughs> center and has you have got some chance to think to do something positively to contribute to, to our society and uh, i feel that your dream the dream of students is the dream of your parents the dream your dream is the dream of nit the dream, your dream is the dream of our society and NIT is here to make you achieve your dreams and I hope that through celebration of this good show you will be happy, you be happy, enjoy your life but at the same time I'd like to when I was studying in Shira, there was Professor Zizi Swell, he used to say us, you young stars, I would suggest you to 
enjoy your life to the fullest but you enjoy your life in such a way that your enjoyment should not be the cause of your repentance in the next moment so you enjoy your life enjoy the festivals but that enjoyment should not be the cause of your repentance in the next moment that is why so also i'd like to share one more thing that we the citizens of tripura we can feel that yes lot of development is taking place lot of development is taking place and right from village level block level subdivision level district level state level but in the process of development always i used to appeal to the citizens that let us be part of the process of the development because this is the age of development and we are one of the important stakeholders in the process of development until and unless we participate in the process of development it is believed that yes now this is the age of development but this is participatory development so until and unless the talented people like you students of engineering colleges if you do not participate in the process of development the very objective of creation of center for rural and tribal development i think it will be difficult to fulfill the very objectives and that is why i would like to appeal to the youngsters that please participate in the process of development and so far our society is concerned our society has been confronting with a lot of challenges in the rural area areas especially the influence of drugs it is influencing the boys and girls in the rural areas and now a time has come to arrest the influence of the drugs in our rural areas and at the same time we have been talking about the creation or making model society we talk about the happiness happiness may be at the individual level in the family in the society we talk about the model society and the being the being the intelligence talented students i appeal to all the students all the members of the center to to contribute in the process to make our society a model society in which all the people all the individuals all the families whatever we are whatever we have we should be we should be happy in the society there should not be unhappy unhappy should not prevail our society that is what i want and one more thing i was realizing lot of changes are taking place in our state now infrastructure wise socially economically lot of rapidly changing changes are taking place like now our state is being uh, connected to bangladesh through through sabroom then through bilunia also it is going to be connected to bangladesh so a lot of economic activities are going to happen we have realized that the cost of the land value of land has been increasingly increasing for the last i think 10 15 years and now it has become very costly and there is a question of survival of the fittest so if we want to survive in our in our own state even in jirania even in kumulong even in village areas we should be economically fit to survive in the competitive age this is competitive market open market society so 
which will be economically fit, physically fit, and also spiritually fit to survive in this free competitive market society. And therefore, uh, let us contribute positively as far as we can to our own society in the process of development to make the model society and let us try to establish peace and tranquility across the caste community and uh, states. This is my appeal to all the youngsters and once again I would like to I would like to wish happy Bui Shooter 2024 and whoever present here maybe may not be uh, directly 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 connected with the celebration of Gauriya Puja or uh, Bui Shooter like uh, uh, respected principal KB and all but I would like to request you all to be the ambassador of Bui Shooter 2024 let us spread this bull shooter, bull shooter across the state, across the communities. So with these few words, again, wishing you all the <coughs> happy bull shooter 2024. I conclude my speech here. Thank you very much. Hambai. Jatana Kaham Karim Kambaji.